remember this. Oh, Excuse me, it's ma'am. Oh, it's from the weed. Oh, I don't remember this. Hold on. Hopefully you don't leave my home before I die. I'm trying to f*** you, baby. Hopefully we don't have no babies. I don't even want to go back home. Hopefully you don't leave my home. I just want to bless me. Hi guys and welcome to a dozen K-pop. Alright, so today I'll be reviewing my old Nintendo um, games I used to play when I was younger. Now, I used to play um, games when I was younger. I think it started with my first trip to the GameStop store, me, and then, man. yeah, I just took off it from there. I think I was around in sixth grade. Um, it's about like eight, nine years ago, nine years ago ish. Nine years ago. Um, I don't think I'm doing math, but yeah, it was a long, long time ago. And yeah, my first game was Pokemon Leaf Green, and yeah, I was such from there. I played like, like Game Boy Advance games like these, and then I did. Uh, I have my DS right here, I play my games there. I was huge on Pokemon, like that's what like made me get into Pokemon because of Pokemon Leaf Green. Before I start, um you guys follow all my social links down below. You guys know the drill. Follow my Instagram, my Twitch, TikTok, everything you guys so you guys know what I'm doing, all that stuff. And ooh, subscribe, click right. subscribe to this channel, click click the notification bell and all that stuff. And then we'll hop right into this video, so okay. And then I always have like Pokemon cards. I don't know if they're any good guys. I don't know if they're valuable or whatever. These are given by, by friends and stuff. So I was talking about Pokemon earlier, and then I have this book. This book is old. I got from like of, like Walmart a long time ago. And I was into like, like, I would go to the store and just read like the Pokemon entries. And this is before like I didn't know you could get it up on your phone. But, and like reading the news, if it were. So weird, but I loved it. I was like, oh. And then I have Pokemon Black here. I have Pokemon White too. Oh, I had a, I had a 3DS too, but I sold that. And then I have this here, Zelda. I love Zelda. Oh my gosh, okay. The Game Boy Advance games, I feel like Brax. Grill games. Oh, I have Kingdom of Hearts too, but I sold that too. Um, I had the Kingdom of Hearts uh, the Dream. Dream Drop Distance, something like that. Pokemon Omega Ruby on 3DS as well. So yeah, now on to these slash GameCube games. We're gonna be rating. We're gonna be rating them out of ten. So I'm gonna go over. These are some iconic, like iconic, iconic games. Now there, so these games I have here are what, like me, and my sister, we bought on Amazon. We had the copies before when we were younger, but what we would do is we would trade the game. So we'd buy the game. And then it would trade it out, and then we wouldn't see it again. So we never like collected the game. So it wasn't recently to like you know we actually we bought all the stuff that we have, which is what I have here. But there was uh, like two games that we did not um, buy, which was the Super Smash Melee. We had Beautiful Joe as well. That was another game we played. Beautiful Joe Two, I think. That game is iconic. I did not have those co uh, those copies, but we used to play that when we were younger. Um, so I have this, um, I don't know if you guys can see, We Family Game Night 3 out of 10, um, oh this is fun, I like the, um, the Clue game, so these games, so this, these type of games where it's like family, family game, whatever, these are like, these, can be, they can be hit or miss, um, it has Life, Twister, Clue, uh, Yahtzee, and Mousetrap, my favorite game to play was the Clue, that was really fun, it's really scary, um, to me. Um, I really liked it. Twister was fun too. I like, yeah. Yeah, these are nice. I think out of 10, I'll probably rate it like, mm, maybe a 6. It's okay. It's not the, not the worst thing in the world, but you know. They're just like board games. They're like board games, I guess it's up your alley. But. And then next we have the Wii Sport. Um, this is kind of like the fall, you know. When we bought the Nintendo Wii. It, um, we bought the Nintendo Wii. I think it came with this game. Um, this is your standard like sports game. You can't really uh, if you're into this kind of stuff, I guess. But I think I like the uh, the tennis game is pretty cool. The tennis one, and then I like the boxing. So five out of ten, kind of average. And then we have oh my gosh, okay, so I got this Dragon Ball Z game. It is so cool. I love this game. 
um, I'm gonna insert clips or whatever, but, um, yeah, it's really cool. I never really, like, finished the storyline or whatever, because I played my cousin one time, and, like, we, they were playing this game. It's just, like, the animation was so cool. Like, I didn't watch the anime, though. I'm not familiar with the anime, but I just like the fighting, the fighting scene, like, the graphics. It's just really pretty, so. I'll give this, like, I wish I wish I finished the game. I wish I finished the game, um, but I didn't. It's kind of hard. I don't know. The controls are kind of hard. But, uh, I'll give it a se 7. 7 out of 10. If I played it and finished the game more, finished the game, I'd probably rate it higher. higher. But yeah, I give it a 7 out of 10. And then next we have Epic Mickey. Okay, this game, y'all. I never, like, fully played it because it, it, no. It required, like, two nunchucks or whatever, and we only had one at the time. So I don't know why we bought it, but yeah. I mean, the graphics are really pretty. I really like it. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm pretty sure it's a good game. I just, just I just never got a chance to experience it. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's really pretty. But, yeah, I wish I played it more. And then we have the Teen Titans GameCube game. Gosh, this game is so fun. Okay, off rip, ten out of ten. This Excuse game me, it's ma'am. It's so cool. Like I'm gonna give you close up. Like, oh my gosh. like the fighting, the story, everything. If you love Teen Titans, if you're a Teen Titans fan, you're gonna love this game. I recommend it. Oh my gosh, it's family. Like all your. Looks like, you know, four players, you can play, there's missions, there's a cute little storyline. It's really cute, I like it, I recommend. Okay. Alien Hominid. Hom hominid, hom hominid, hominid. I don't know how you pronounce it, it looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yo, this game is so cool. Like, I love that you can make your own stage. And, um, yeah, the little levels were so cool. Like, you would just, I think it was multiplayer too. And then like the animation, the chalk animation. It was just a cute little game. Oh, excuse me, it's ma'am. 10 out of 10, like, recommend. It's a cute little quirky game. I don't know if it's like a TV show or what, but yeah, I don't know. It's a really cute game, I like it. Okay, y'all. Okay, this is kind of beat up. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, so you guys, if you know, you know, Pokemon Coliseum. Okay, so we didn't play Coliseum back in the day. We did Pokemon um, Darkness and Lugia, Lugia of Darkness, something like that. That was when we played, but um, this game we recently got, well not recently, I got this in high school because a friend of mine uh, had it and he ended up giving it, to me, giving it to me for like, you know, we traded something, but he gave me this. And it just, you know, it's a similar game from, you know, The Darkness of Olivia. It's just a little bit different, um, but it's just still the same, like, concept, you know what I mean? But yeah, this, these games, Pokemon, it's lit. It's, yeah. I really like it. This is a 10 out of 10. Oh, excuse sure. me, it's ma'am. You can't go wrong. The graphics, everything, the story, the story, the story in the, in the Pokemon. So the Pokemon Guild Darkness was actually a little bit better. I like that game better um, because the storyline, the Shadow Pokemon, and the, the, the scientists, the other Bible. But then the Pokemon costume, I like the protagonist. I like how he was like older, whatever. I forgot his name, but um, yeah, I like I like that game a lot. Okay, I can literally talk on and on about Pokemon, but okay. So next we have Sonic the Hedgehog, um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yo, this game is nostalgia, I'm telling y'all, like, this game, the music, the chow, can we talk about the chow garden, like, the chow garden, that was such a concept, like, because I love, like, I don't know, because I, like, I don't know, they remind me of kids, you know, like, little kids, and I, I don't know, I like teaching little kids, it's, like, what I do on my off time, but, um, the chows, like, remind me of kids, like, how they grow and the little noises they make like i don't know like that's so weird but i loved it i love the child and i like the um the music the stages the running stages how they have like the evil and the dark side of the storyline oh my god the graphics 10 out of 10 i'm like oh, excuse me it's ma'am nostalgia right here I'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all okay okay next we have gotcha force okay y'all this game this game right here is the best one out of the bunch hands down i'm telling y'all I have never heard of anyone talking about this game. Like, I have never heard of it. Like, no one has ever heard of it. Like, what is Gotcha Force? Gotcha Force? Like, y'all have never heard about this game. This game right here is lit lit. I'm telling y'all, like, all my family members love this. Like, all, even friends, like, everyone, like, they play this game. They've never even heard of it. I'm talking graphics, storyline, fighting. Like, everything is so clean, crisp. Like, this is getting 100 out of 10. Like, I'm telling y'all. It is man. Right here is lit lit. Like, I recommend, I recommend, I recommend, like, 
I mean, I don't know what else to say. This is what the back of it looks like. Like, it looks nerdy. It looks weird. I'm telling y'all, you're going to have a great time playing it. The concept, too, of, like, get ready to rumble. Like, toy versus toy. Oh, yeah, so they're, like, toys in this over-the-top 3D. So this case, actually, we never even traded this out. This was the original one we actually got. Because it was that good of a game. We're like, no, we're keeping this. And I don't know how much it this game is now. I've seen it, like, people send it for $100. I mean, it's, it's a really prized game. But, um, it has 3D action shooter, create your own fighting force, so you can create your own force, like a team. Kind of like Pokemon style. You have 200 unique characters. Use strategy. Ca character collecting become addicti addictive as the combinations are endless. Playing as your friends or work together to defeat the baddest toys. Color combinations, trade with your teammates to sell more uh, powerful units. All that, yeah, it's, it's so fun. But from Camcom, too, so yeah. Oof, yes, tip me down the really. Okay, now this game I have here, y'all. What you know about that Zatch Bell? What you know about that Zatch Bell, Momoto Furry, y'all? This game right here, this is top tier. This is top tier. This is this is runner up. I gotta tell you that right now. Like this game, I love. I had like I had to watch the anime. It was so good. Like look at that. Ugh. The story, the graphics, the fighting. Like it is so cute. I love everything, and like the character design, like Zatch Bell. Like oh, I just love it. He's so cute and his little yellow tail, like addiction. Like uh, it's got a good story and like the character designs, like. I don't know how y'all can see. Like, ugh, it's so, so good. Like, this is a 10 out of 10. Oh, excuse me, it's uh, man. Great game, great story, great anime. Um, I like the concept. It kind of reminds me of, like, Pokemon. Because, like, they, they send out, like, their little Momotos with, like, books. Where like, Pokemon, you like, in a Pokeball. So, yeah. yeah. See, I'm, I can ramble on about these all day. Okay. And next we have, okay, we resort, um, you know, the average game. This is about to be a 5 out of 10. Oh, actually, no. No, I think I like this one better. I like this one better than the, um... I like this one better than the Wii Sport, because the Wii Sport was kind of was boring. But the Wii Resort was a little bit better. I like how it was kind of like vacation style. I, I like the, um, sword fighting game. And then the basketball one was funny. So, this would be like, mm, this is 7 out of 10. And then, y'all, this was GTA before its time, y'all. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me you do not know about this one. Simpsons Hit and Run. I'm telling y'all GTA style. Like, that's all I can say about this game. Y'all have to play this game. It is so lit. Oh my gosh. It was just the mission and everything. I don't think we even finished this game either. Because there's like a, a Homer level, a Bart level, a Lisa level, and I believe a Marge level? But yeah, I think we really went up to Lisa's level, but yeah, the story was really cute too. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Excuse me, it's man. Classic, 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 classic. Oh my gosh, okay, so we have this game. This is the Kirby um, Dream Collection Special Edition. This one's kind of interesting, so it was kind of like a mix of Kirby games, essentially. You know, if you're a huge Kirby game fan, fam, fan, you'll like, you'll like this. This is a collection of like mini games. It's cute, cute standard. You got, you know, you gotta have a Kirby game, you know, in your collection. That's just like a must. So, yeah, I really like it. And then you have, oh, I didn't rate it. Um, let's say eight out of ten. The music is cute. I like it. Okay, and then you have Bakugan. Bakugan. Um, Bakugan's interesting. Uh, I try to get into it, but like I tried watching the anime and stuff, but I just couldn't. I don't know, I couldn't get into it that much. Um, that's a cute little game. We got this on Black Friday, I remember, but um, maybe I should see the back. But yeah, I don't know. It was kind of hard to understand, like the me mechanics and everything. They tried it, they tried it. If you like Bakugan, you know, you'll like it, but I couldn't get into it that much. So this is like a seven out of 10. Graphics are nice though. Okay, um, this is, okay, this is the Michael Jackson game. Okay, this is not like the actual box art. Like GameStop one. Let me open up. So, so this is like a kind of like a just dance thing, like a dancing game. So you use your like Wii remote and you like do the little you know, dance points or whatever. But I can never beat this game. I can never beat it. My sister always did better than me. That. Yeah, I don't know. If you're into those kind of games, I guess, you know, it's a little bit more 
universally friendly, you know. Okay, oh my gosh, this is probably the best um, we like branded game is this V Party. Like this game, like from the Wii, this is actually I you know, I like this. I actually recommend you do this. We party guys. Like, and it's so cute. The little mini games. My favorite mini game would be the treasure. I think it's the I can't remember. The island one. It looks like that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, it's just really cute game. Oh like this bomb game is really funny too. Time bomb. They just have all kinds of cute little games. And it's just a good family game to bring your family all together. This would be a, a nice 9 out of 10. You know, can't go wrong with these Wii Party games. It's so cute, it's quirky, has little fun mini games. And yeah, I like it. Um, Simpsons, what is this? The Simpsons game? I don't remember this. Oh, it's from the Wii. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember this, hold on. I don't remember this game. Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna just do a question mark because I don't remember this being in my pile. I don't know. I don't know about that game. I didn't never play it. I don't know why it's in my little pile. Okay, and last but not least, we have Sonic, um, Sonic and the Black Knight. Now, this is one of those games where I didn't really play either. Um, we, knew, we didn't have the, because it required... <laughs> The nunchucks again. We had, I think, required four nunchucks because it was like four player or whatever. And then basically, it was like Sonic, but like it was like you know he was like a black knight or something. Their graphics were nice. Um, no guys to see. It's a King Ar Arthur. Arthur. I don't know what's going on. He explored King Arthur's vast world, battle against your friend. The graphics were nice, blah blah blah. But I, just, I never got to play it so. We didn't have the nunchucks, so this is gonna be a question mark as well, but it's, it's really nice. You know, you can't go wrong with Sonic, but well, Sonic can be known to be kind of glitchy, you know? But yeah, those were all the games I have. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything. Um, you guys push the. Oop, look, I'm out of focus. Alright, so push the notification bell. Um, you guys so you guys know when I post videos and all that stuff uh, you guys have any questions about this little pile I have here okay, let's see um, let me know um, recommend me some games that um, uh, I you think I would like or I don't know uh, I'm pretty sure you know there's a lot out there so um, these are just the ones that I'm familiar with there was also a WWE game I played too that too that would be like a a bonus game I played. I'm trying to remember other ones I played. I'm like thinking about my childhood right now. <laughs> and that's it for the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, be true, be you. And hopefully, I will see you in the next video.